The fifth step in closing the SLO for the administrator is to check the evidence and to check to make sure that the SLO scores are coming in close to the golden ratio or close to the literature that Texas has for the actual um, SLO student growth piece. Here's what that means. Once you import the scores, you're going to add the expected growth score to the exceeded growth score. In this case, 33 plus 17 is 50. So we compare that to our golden ratio. So 50% of the kids either ex got expected or exceeded growth put together. So that means this teacher's t-test scores should be along the lines of a 3.0 when averaging out domains two and three. If that lines up, great. You can have a good conversation with the teacher. However, if the SLO score is still too inflated, then have a conversation with the teacher and check their evidence to make sure that everything went as intended. To check evidence, you'll go ahead and go to the eyeball icon where the title of the student portfolio is, you'll find a purple paperclip. This purple paperclip will lead you directly to the SLO where you'll find the evidence section. So we click on the purple paperclip, takes us to the SLO, and on the bottom left side, you'll have the evidence for the SLO that was uploaded by the teacher. You're going to check for evidence at the ISP, second six weeks, third six weeks, fourth six weeks, and fifth six weeks level. So in this example, this teacher is missing the fifth six weeks. So my feedback to this teacher would be, please upload your fifth six weeks, and then let's talk about your SLO scores, just to make sure that they're in line with the literature that TEA says an SLO score should be within in comparison to a t-test score.